So the issue was about being totally cancelled is that um, I have to now deal with the logistics of storing these um, sculptures that are not um, on display and have to be disposed of. If with film you don't have that issue, I think as gender critical feminists, we need to be a lot lighter on our feet. So I was in the position where I didn't have any funding or studio. So I thought, well, what can you do at your kitchen table? So I think earlier this year I made this film and probably cost under £100 to make. And I made it in the evenings after work. And it was called, it was, it was quite gender critical itself. It was called The Bottle of a Leaf Blower. And it was based upon the um, chapter of a book, Clitophobia, what your mother didn't tell you because she didn't know. Um, I hadn't really animated before and all the skills I learned for free on YouTube. So that's a great platform. And um, I think in the film world, I'm not sort of known as a tough yet. I hate saying that word, but um, I can still show my work. So, um, you know, once I got it made, there's a lot of festivals out there. There's about over 10,000 festivals in the, in the world. And, but I noticed that a lot of film festivals that were traditionally women are now showing men's work as well and they're bending over backwards to be inclusive. So, I mean, you know, I get a bit fed up with, fence, you know, constant confrontation about the content of my work. I mean, I can't say it's pretty much out there. I think it's quite normal in terms of feminism today or second wave feminism. Um, but I put it in a local film festival and actually won, which was actually rather wonderful. And it was the only film there without sort of funding or official support. So I, I guess the moral of this is you don't need funding. You just need a good idea and, and, and time as well, really, to get the message out there. So I thought it'd be great to sort of create a facility to actually encourage you, basically, to start doing that. <laughs>